Jacob is wrong. The, uh, the first man and the last man. We saw the picture of death pumped, right? The, uh, the first, the, the picture of the rapture. Two men in one bed, one is taken, one is left. Well, that... Bible changes, clueless. And I just watched End of the Stars and he said he's sick and tired of people talking about the Mandela effect in the Bible and that we're hiding the truth because Matrix is in the Bible and it was in the context of the female uterus being shaped like a matrix or a maze <clears throat> basically it's the muscle and how we well with the baby will twist in a spiral as it exits the womb which yes true but matrix is not a word that the translators used for the king james version and it's changed <clears throat> So, what we are seeing, I suppose, there's two examples. Two men in one bed is the homosexual agenda. And the Bible switched with the word matrix, which I believe even Jonathan Clegg has used, which was not there before. It's manifesting this system here, isn't it? It's, it's a manifestation of the world now. Yep, it's a manifestation. So the Bible is now representing, these changes are representing the present day time. And I'm just going to upload this, but I just want you to remember... Now, hopefully I can relay this correctly from what True Shock had seen. Um, tribute, her birth stamp being 320 takes me to Daniel 12. Well, Jacob talks about Daniel 12 in his video right now. Um, so Daniel 12, where it mentions the end. The word end, seal up the book to the end. And then there's revelations where True Shock TV noticed that it says, seal not the book at the time of the end. So God has allowed these changes. He's sorting the sheep from the goats. You know, I am, I'm so ho-hum now, you know, I've Jacob and End of the Stars, they're in, they're in La La Land, they, to me, they are in La La Land, <laughs> it's, um, very deceptive. 